Hello, Fundy here. Do you like it when games are purely based on luck and no skill whatsoever? No? Well, too bad. I did it anyway. All right, so the first thing you would do in a Minecraft world would just be punching down a tree. That would be the normal standard thing to do, and it should be going just fine. But in my difficulty, it's ever so slightly different. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that is not... All right, so a lot of things just happened. Um, I put myself in creator to survive, and I'll explain everything in a bit. Uh, but before I do, I just want to give you guys a quick heads up. There's a YouTube bug going around that has been going on for quite a long time now, where it randomly can unsubscribe you from any channel. Even if you think you are subscribed, please do give it a check, because, you know, YouTube might have messed with it. And on that note, these videos take me really long to make. Um, I'll show you everything that I've done in a second, but if you do enjoy the video, subscribing is completely free, and it really does mean a lot to me if you subscribed. You know, it is free, so, you know. Okay, so let me explain what exactly happened there, because it was a lot of things. Now, there was a number that came up on the screen, and basically that tried to simulate a d20, which is basically a dice with 20 sides. Depending on the roll that you do, you can either get really lucky or you can get really unlucky. Now, depending on the... Okay, all right, no, that's fine. Depending on the number, uh... <laughs> As you, as you might have seen twice in a row now, different things can happen. They can either be lucky or unlucky or anywhere in between. So the lower number you're going to get um, in one of these actions, the worse things can happen. But the higher your number can get, the better things can happen. So as an example, in this case, because I chopped it down and I rolled an 18, which is very high, uh, the highest is 20, it made gold appear from the tree. Oh, also, you might have noticed that um, whenever you break a tree, it doesn't actually break. Um, that might lead you to realize that, uh, placing down logs of any sort is, um, is not really the smartest idea. Well, you can get gold, but you no, know, so you can also get that. All right, so let's say you got yourself some wood, you turned it into oak planks, you place it down, and you start crafting, stop, stop, and you start crafting some tools. Now, as soon as you start crafting some tools, no matter what type they are, whether they're wood or diamond, um, an event will trigger. And once again, you'll roll your little dice, and the outcome is going to depend how much durability your tool has. Now, we rolled 10, which means it should be around the middle, but depending on how high and low you roll, all of your tools will depend on this. So let's say we craft a pickaxe. Uh, let's see what we get. A 7. All right, so it's it's slightly less than 10, and as you can see, it's a little bit less durability than this one. Yeah, you basically want really high rolls, otherwise... um. <laughs> Now, let's say you do end up rolling something really high, as example, a net 20, something special happens. Not only will no durability be gone, but at the same time, you also get some default enchantments. These enchantments are obviously based on what tool it is, and, you know, armor would get unbreaking, and protection, tools get efficiency, and a sword, as example, gets sharpness. And that's pretty nice. But then again, rolling a net 20 is only a 1 in 20 chance. Doing anything else is not necessarily going to give you that. I just did it nine times just to show you what it would be like-ish. Um, you can see it here. It's uh, it's not always that great. Uh, <laughs> now, once you got your tools and you started mining, um, there's a random chance, as example right here, there's a random chance. Okay, all right. No, that's fine. No, that's great. Th thank you. Thank you. Oh, come. No, are you, are you really? 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 You're still here. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Like I said before, whenever you go mining, there's a random chance for whenever you mine. Uh, let me just see if I can get it. There we go. There's a random chance for this to happen, and... <laughs> okay. As you can see, there's a few things that can happen. Um, some are nice, and some are not. Some of these things can actually include things like spawning ores. Uh, some of them can be spawning silverfish behind the block that you mine. Basically, it can only happen whenever the block behind the ore you mine isn't visible. So, as example, whenever you mine something that is visible, you know, only this one would work because behind it is, you know, stuff that wasn't visible before. And now it could have changed those into coal, as you can see right there. I spent a lot of time writing this code, okay? Please, please, like, a applaud me or something. I'm very, I'm very proud of this. Now, let's say you actually decide to get lucky and you roll a net 20. Um, this can spawn. Now, that should hopefully compensate for, um, certain things. No, 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 no! 
Let's say you died a couple times due to very unlucky mining. You give up, you get some food, and you start to get hungry. Now, once you start eating food, obviously, it's going to trigger again. Now, whenever you eat food, it's randomly going to give you any bonus effect, okay? This can be something very good, such as absorption or strength, but also something very bad, as example, poison or hunger. Once again, depends a lot on what your role is. Now, I, I, I rigged it to be 20 right now. And as you can see... I get a bunch of buffs. Now, these buffs are very good, okay? I'm very fast. Look at me go. Look at me go. Look at this. Then again, obviously, there's got to be also, you know, a negative to it. So if you were to roll, I don't know, something like a, um, a net one, um, <laughs> uh, 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 Now, another way to actually trigger the event is obviously by sleeping. Sleeping is a very common thing to do in real life and in, you know, in game. You can have good sleeps where you wake up really nice, you feel well rested, and you can have uh, nightmares, so to say. Whenever we go to bed and whenever we essentially wake up, it's gonna roll. And depending on your roll, I guess, you know, you can skip the night. So we rolled the 19, which is pretty damn high. It's it's only one away from 20. And uh, we got luck from that. You know, we got a nice little luck bonus. Also, if we had any damage taken or anything like that, we would have also regent that and we got some saturation. If you were to not get that lucky, um, something else happens. Okay, so um, whenever uh, you roll a very low, such as a one, uh, these... These guys spawn. Uh, now, <laughs> now, the group size of these mobs is dependent, obviously, on how much you roll. And um, they are randomly named. So, in this case, they're a group of goblins. And they're called Goblin Zombos and uh, Goblin Skellies. They also got their unique gear. So, they all got their own, you know, little nice shades of green. They got their own wooden and stone swords. They're, they're pretty, you know, different, so to say. If I were to sleep again, once again, these mobs will spawn. In this case, they're actually called Thieves. Now, you're probably wondering, Fundy, do they steal items? No. Are they exactly the same as other mobs and have no special function? Uh, maybe. Now, there's actually something else that can happen whenever you fight these guys, and that is actually whenever you kill a mob. It's not necessarily these guys, it's actually any mob in general, but whenever you do, once again, the event can happen, and depending on what you roll, they can either give something good, uh, which didn't happen, they can give something mediocre, such as, you know, an extra drop, which is coal, which did happen. And they can also do something not that good. <gasps> Yo, let's go. That's good. No, that's not good. Oh, are you kidding me? Really? 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 Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Do you notice how? Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> ghost of ghost of the. Okay, all right, yeah, no, that's, um, that's not. <laughs> so whenever you kill a mob and you know you roll something bad, um, their ghost can spawn. So as example, we killed a thief zombo and a ghost of thief zombo spawned. But then you got these guys, which are ghosts of ghost. Now, the last way to trigger a roll is to actually just normally walk. It really rarely happens, but I up the chances just so I could show it. And hopefully I can keep on talking until it happens, please. There we go. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I, oh, 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 I just realized. Okay, um, uh, I may have made it happen very many times. How? Oh, just walk, walk, walk. Okay, yeah, there's a random chance whenever you walk for uh, treasure to spawn near you, but also enemies, so... Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. How, hey, how are you guys doing? Okay. What's going on, guys? This is not safe. <laughs> now, there's only one thing left, and that is probably my best creation ever. I completely revamped the entire end fight, and um, I'll just let it speak for itself.
Oh no! No! Once you finally kill the dragon. <laughs> I'm dead. Good job. Well done, Smile. You want subscribe to Fundy. Okay, nice, Smile. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. What a fight that is. Man, I really, really made the dragon incredible. I, listen... All right. I don't like to I don't like to give myself compliments that much, but hey, you got to hand it to me. That is pretty impressive, all right? I made custom dragon AI, all right? This is revolutionary. Mojang, you can you can hire me now, all right? You can hire me. All right, that's basically it. Um I showed everything I can because there's a few other things that I haven't shown, but that's purely because I want to keep some things, you know, secret for if you download it for yourself. And yeah, I just really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy, you know, subscribing is free. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. And you know that you can just, you know, unsubscribe whenever you want to. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Stay awesome. And see ya.